So y'all, I'm in my office because going through, this is the first day we did a time for learning and it's not gonna work for us, y'all. It's just, it's online and it's only for language arts and math and science. <sighs> Halfway through the English, JB was done. He, 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 was, he didn't wanna do it. And so I don't wanna push anything. I want the learning to come natural to him. So uh, going through the workbooks I have now. Um, so one of the things I says I stated that I purchased from A Time for Learning. A Time for Learning, excuse me, Teachers Pay Teachers is a great resource. So I was able to get second grade goals. This is before anything changed as far as ELA and math. I also um, was able to, let me back up for a second. I already purchased a lot of all this stuff before I figured, oh, I can't do it. Because this was all going to be supplemental. Now that's not the case. This is going to be what we're going to be using primary. Hey, you guys. So we stopped by the Dollar Tree this morning to pick up a few things, honey. I really needed to get some vanilla folders, folders, but it's the Dollar Tree girl. So I always ended up getting like 10 or 15 more items. So some household stuff. Got some pine saw, fall paper, um, decorative. Why do they already, already have fall Halloween stuff out? Absolutely ridiculous. I just got fall stuff. We don't do Halloween anymore. So I have some fall decorative here. I have a painting set for JB for later on in the year. As far as homeschooling supplies, I purchased this bingo marker that he can use when we have worksheets where he selects an item. Some dice for math. This is great for um, uh, addition, multiplication. Some chips here to help with math. Manila folders. Purchased these sticker stories. We're gonna be um, Sorry, we're gonna be getting into storytelling and stuff like that. So these are a little cute to have. Um, and then they had a number of books, some really cute looking books too. So look at these y'all, just a dollar. Hold on, let me open up one. Sorry, the camera went off, very nice. So this is called Me and My Mammoth, The Boy Who Watered the World. And then we just have a pop-up book here. Um, some more index cards and tape and some earbuds, girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away, gather some um, things to start homeschooling this morning. And that's gonna be it for this Friday, y'all. Look at Jay. Fun, weird science on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And go to YouTube and subscribe to Fun, Weird Science. So you guys, it's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. My mood is off. Um, it's starting to last night. We finally got some rain, which is good, girl, because it's been dry here for weeks. Christine decided to call out today when she let me know that she's sleepy and she wants to sleep in all day. So I'm like, okay, girl. So I've been working, working, working. Um, I have a bit of a headache and I know it's because I'm stressed out. So y'all, what's up? Got up early this morning to contact the company that produces the Go Math. Now this is Common Core, by the way. <sighs> um, was able to get some lesson plans through uh, Teachers Pay Teachers, purchase the lesson plans, because you can't even, you can't look at them before purchasing them. You know, you see a preview, but not everything. Well, the previews, I mean, the lesson plans refer to you to go to the site called, um, personal math trainer and we used to go on there because he used go math for his charter school which is one of the reasons why i wanted to go back because he seems like he did pretty good even though common core girl on the phone short short to girl long story short was on the phone for like an hour going back and forth between customer care and um, technical support and basically parents can't use that site so I was a little confused as to how can I purchase all 13 workbooks, but I can't access the site. So it's not going to be easy. We can't use it. I mean, so I decided I'm going to use easy peasy for math and it's very easy and it's not common core. And so it'd be, it should be easier for him to understand. Look at him. Sorry y'all. So yeah, right now we're just going to focus on, um, uh, yeah, Jay, we're just gonna focus on language arts and math because JB is still struggling reading. He is a struggler reader. Um, he was actually in a separate workshop group at his school because he just reads very slow. His handwriting is horrible. So that is gonna be our focus for like a month. 
or so. Then we will slowly add in science, slowly add in social science, which includes history, economics, civics, all of that. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be my plan. Um, just have a headache. <laughs> I'm just over it y'all just not just that but just this week in general has been it's been interesting it's good We are at the park. I am really surprised. It is 10 o'clock and there are already people here gathering. Our hopes were to get here so early that it won't be a lot of people. But it looks like, child, these folks don't care. They're still gathering and I mean, it's still small groups. It looks like it's six and under and they probably are family members. So who am I to judge? They could be our family. This is a huge park. So we've been coming out here probably once every two weeks to get here but, really but early. The playground is pretty empty, but there's about 40 people here, which is way more than it normally is. JB's the only one in the playground, so we're gonna let him play in the playground. I feel kind of bad, y'all, but I pulled him away from over there. It's about 30, 40 people over there. Mm -mm. We come over here. JB's right now, he's the only person on the playground. We'll go out in the middle of the oh, There's a little, another little boy over there. Call me paranoid. <laughs> But, mm-mm. Okay, y'all, I want to show y'all my, I mean my, girl, look, yeah, I'm back here. I want to show y'all my, let me tell you something. Flu season is right around the corner. I need for y'all to start stockpiling. I have all this tissue paper. I want to get one more large thing of tissue paper. I have purchased disinfectant spray um, a couple of weeks ago. Wipes, bleach, detergent, dishwater. I want to get at least two more of everything. Let me turn this camera around. My husband said that they're already seeing flu cases in the hospital. This is a little early, but it's happening. And what's gonna happen, you guys, is that don't think that just because the numbers are going down. Cooler weather, COVID is gonna return. Flu is returning. And what's gonna happen is that it's gonna be hard to tell. This is my opinion. Let me just say this disclaimer. I am not in the medical field. I am giving you my opinion from someone who has had COVID and has the flu. Oh, by the way, I also had the swine flu. The swine flu, we were out cold for two weeks. Granted, after we had the swine flu, we weren't sick again for a very long time because we had built up those antibodies. I feel like by all the flus, child. But knock on one, and by the grace of God, I have not had the flu since. But the swine flu was very bad for us, in my opinion. We were very sick. Um, get to the point. I really do think that people need to start stockpiling again for if you haven't even stockpiled, please, for the for the winter time, especially if you, live, if you live in areas where it's really cool, especially if you live in Florida, Texas, D.C., what is Minnesota. If you out here with me in ratchet ass Arizona, California, I have groceries. I have, you know, tissue. I have water. This water I had before we went through when we were all sick and we went through it fairly fast, you guys, because when you... If you do get sick, you know, yeah, you could do roadside pickup, what is it, uh, curbside pickup, but we didn't even feel like going out. And mind you, we had mild symptoms. We did not feel like going out. That was the last thing we wanted to do was to go out. So if you have enough supplies at home, you can avoid all that. All I'm saying is just go ahead and do it for yourself. And I would go even further. If you can afford it, look up what you should stockpile for at least, for at least three months and really really start taking it serious count because then i think i have another another thing in the war in a so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven all right we're good we're good yeah we have 11 yeah. gallons of water in our in our um my little linen closet here but I'm gonna get some more because I'm not playing. We and we have the space. I have the space to you know put more stuff. I have soap, like I said, I have tissue. I have a map of my area. Now that was a little extreme. Baby, I have seeds. I don't know how to grow stuff, but I got seeds just in case I need to replant the earth. I'm ready. <laughs> Y'all, but one thing, let me turn this off. Let me adjust 
Come on, sweetheart. Come in here, mommy's done. One thing that I think my husband is really kind of in denial. You see, I'm kind of coughing and wheezing. Now, yeah, my allergies are in there. They kind of briefly spoke about long term, long term symptoms from having COVID. And granted, yeah, we, we all have allergies and we have asthma, but my husband now has a cough. And he's in denial, y'all, because he's like, he's like, this is not a symptom. Do you even know what a symptom is? He, see, he think he can outthink me because he's actually in the medical field. And I get it. You know, you you went to school and all that, and you actually uh, have a degree, a science degree. I get that. You know. Anyway, he's still coughing. So I think that he's one of those people that, I don't know what the scientific term for it, and those in the medical field, you know what I'm talking about. But I think he's one of those people who is showing uh, long-term effects of having COVID because he is his cough is different but he's still coughing and so he'll cough in the middle of the night he coughs in the morning he coughs throughout the day now of course it's nothing near as it was when we you know we were all sick but he's still coughing and so I'm, I'm you know I'm telling you I'm like babe like you're coughing he's like no it's just my allergies it's my I'm like but you took your you got your allergy shot July, we're in the, well, September's next month, and you're still coughing. It is dusty here with the monsoon season and dust going around. Yeah, but I mean, I should trust my husband and his, you know, his opinion. But I just, for me personally, I've never seen him cough this much, and it just so happened to be after he had COVID. So. Oh, child, so prayers to everyone. Definitely pray over your family. I'm keeping all of y'all in prayer. Those of you who are on the front lines, lifting you up in prayer. Uh, you, you know, pray pray over your children as they go to school, as they head out. Pray over you. I'm so sorry, I forgot to turn the camera on. I'm doing my nails, I'm drying my nails now with the, y'all can't see this, the gel lamp. Um, so they sent me four colors, plus a top coat and a base. The base? I didn't use because again I have a dip powder and so they sent me three colors they sent me this red really really nice red color they sent me this pink and they sent me this blue which is what I have on my nails here and I should give you guys a close-up now what I decided to do was I'm gonna have to do a new set soon because this set is just does not look great. I did a new, I did a um, change color is all I did, but I added glitter towards the bottom. That's a trick if you feel like your nails are not looking all that great. So let's see if these things can zoom in some, y'all. Hold on. There we go. You see, so yeah. did a, a full glitter on this one, glitter on the bottom of the other ones, and this one right here is blank. So this is what we have. Just different glitter design, and then like solid here. You can see I need a fill soon, and then half glitter on this one. So yeah, you guys. So I do have a coupon. I believe it's either look. Let me look up the coupon code. I believe it's fifty percent off. But I'll have everything below in the description. And um, I will say compared to the other ones, it's a little bit thicker, but gel polish does tend to be thicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to dry my nails. They're almost dry. Those of you who are not familiar with gel nails, gel nails last longer, one, um, and two, if you, you have to cure your nails using a UV lamp, which is I have here. I'll unplug it so y'all can see it. I got this for my birthday. My husband bought this for me for my birthday. And so um, what I do is I put, girl, I put my nails up underneath. After you dry them, you see how the light come on, you see that? I put my nails underneath and the UV light will help to basically cure, C-U-R-E, your nails so that they dry. Child, I may, whenever I go to the grocery store, I think I may spray my hands with um with something and put it on under here to kill the coronavirus. Girl. <laughs> Can the gel lamp cure the coronavirus? Kill the coronavirus? Is UV light? Doesn't UV light kill off? Yeah, girl, I need to stop. So I you can I need to look into that. Yo, I'm not going to the nail salon. There's really no need. Hi, baby. Hi, precious. Um, I'm not doing that. I'm just not. So I'm gonna wait for these to dry. It's a long process though when you do your own nails, especially because you're not used to it. I mean, if you think about it, you could dry your your hands outside. 
You could dry outside. I need a UV lamp for that, child. But you, but but outside. The I like sun. the purple one better. But this is cute. The blue is okay, but I did. This is not a UV light. It it looks like a UV light, but but but. It looks like way, way in the future of you. So this is his natural voice, you guys. I it's so I'm glad to catch him on without him really being hoarse. Y'all often don't see JB. You don't hear his natural speaking voice. That baby voice is his natural voice. So cute. That baritone. Stop it, baby. That baritone, very white, is due to his allergies. That's still cute. His raspy voice is still cute. But this is his natural speaking voice. I need to get a, a clear dip powder because what Whoa, I've been doing is, why am I talking so loud? I need to get more of a yeah. clear dip powder so, and I need to get some more nails. I need to get some more nails, some more clip dip powder so that way I can just paint the nails over. What that means you guys, those of you who are not familiar, give me a, an example, baby. Give me one of those out of there. Give me one of those. So typically when you go get your nails done right, you get a full you get a full set, which means you get these tips on top. Right? Uh, acrylic nails. Then they use acrylic powder to what is shape that? acrylic powder to shape your nail beds and so and every two weeks you will get a fill right mm. or you could do dip powder which mm. what you would do is you would paint your nail with a base dip your nail into the dip powder you like this dip your nail into the dip powder until you basically get the look of an acrylic yeah. nail except they're dip powder nails um some of my most of my dip powders have color in them and so what I did last time is um, dip the nail in the color, and then once it's done, you top it with a clear top coat. No, that's why it's not. Give me that quick dip. I do not recommend this thing, y'all. I just don't. That? This, this, is this, a, is, this is nail polish. Give me this fuss. Put you in a headlock. <laughs> My brush cleaner, I don't need to do that. <laughs> so where's the other powder for this baby? First of all, these powders are trash. Can you, can I? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh uh, baby. I still need that. I still oh, have I it just in case. Baby, stop. I want you to put something up for me. Put these in here. These are bomb.com. Let's look up on the box for this. These go in here. Mm hmm. Beatles so, Perfect Four Polish. Like this one? That's the and, glitter I have on here. And this. Oh, my nerves, girl. And this. I know one. I'm playing. Here. All right, so. And then, yeah. It takes me. I'm getting better. Yeah. I am. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I am getting better. Um, oh, no, it's open. That came it's open broken. and broke. And my quick dip. And at the time, the coronavirus had just hit. And Sally's, y'all. Oh, no. I this is still going on, but Sally's is um, not taking back is not taking anything back. They're oh, not doing look at this. refunds, they're not doing exchanges. This is my activator. It cuts off. It, what is this? Top base. Wait, what is this for? Boy, that's a nail cutter. Oh, I can cut your nails with that. I can't. <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh no, I was about to chop my fingers off. And that is it. Ah! I did die. It's a lot of work when you first start. Sorry, I'm my bra strap showing. It's a lot of work when you first oh, start, no. oh. but once you get a hang of it, oh. not so. Like it, is, it didn't take me that long a today. Sponge. I didn't do a full. I didn't do a fill. You know, you can do a fill also with the dip powder. Like you know, which is like of course. Me. All right, so y'all, this is my drill. Like I do me. have a. I'm not playing. Oh, where's the where's the chill things? Where's the other oh there you are. Can you need to oh, I need to open this up. You know I ain't got time for that. No 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 I can. Can you open this up? Figure out how to open this up. Yeah. No okay. put this back on there, baby. This is a cheap old drill and Oh no, it's a drill. Here baby. Wow, that this drill. is cheap. This costs me no more than like thirty dollars. A really nice drill, which I probably would invest in one. A hundred dollars, minimum a hundred. Is it? Is it? This goes on top of the Child, I may start doing nails. I saw them. 
Vivian, you know you ain't gonna do nobody else. Look, cause I would have an attitude. What is this? Oh, that's glass, baby, from that thing that broke. All right, you guys, so. <laughs> Look at him. I put up some more posters. Well, I had yeah. some more posters to come in. And we have mostly masks. I don't want to move. You know what? I was thinking about moving that one and putting up these short A, so short vowels. Is, but. Is, so, is there any more? Oh, Lord. So, this poster. Ah, um, elements of a story. Excuse the background. Elements of a story I got from the Dollar Tree actually. And that two posters actually came with that, but I don't think we need that. I got a set of 12 posters, which are these math posters, and I have more down here. I got them from um, Amazon. Yeah, baby. So we have money, time, numbers, addition, and subtraction right here in front of him. So I have a speaker too. So this right here is a storyboard type of, it's not supposed to really stick, baby. It's so you can move it around, okay? So it's, so these stick out here. So we got this kit from the Dollar Tree. And basically the kids um, are to use stickers to create a story. So JB, when you're done. And I didn't hear that you do that. When you're done. And what happened, baby? And then they're the alien. Oh, they're coming! They're coming to land. And then, and and then they're, and then. Yeah. Uh -oh. And then your there, head, baby? there was another alien. Mm-hmm. And it was red. Oh. And there was another alien mm -hmm. coming. Okay. And then, and then there was, then there was a ton more aliens. Okay. They look kind of like aliens. Okay. So you guys, today we just did then, language the arts. Aliens, Sorry. And then they started. I thought then, you were and done. Then they Sorry. started to 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 erupt. 